Uh, well, a lot of people are upset this morning after the uh, FIFA World Cup game between the United States and Portugal. A little bit of heartbreak. We want to get the take from our News 10 soccer analyst, Paul Janes. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Dan. Okay, we're, we're going to take the four goals that were scored. We'll start with the first one. Okay. Five minutes into the game, okay. uh, a defensive mistake right here. Yeah. What happened? I mean, just sometimes in soccer it happens. It, it slips up, Cameron pops it, and it just drops over the back. Um, I think the U.S. shut down on the backside there. Uh -huh. They kind of assumed that he was going to clear it, and I don't think you can assume anything. Sure. You, know, you shut down for two seconds, and this is what happens. Technically, it could have been offsides. They never showed us that, but I wondered if maybe one of those guys had been offsides. Well, coming off of Cameron, it's not going to be offsides. I don't know where they were when the initial ball was played, but it does look like uh, it's possible. Yeah, but they, um, never, they never played that. I mean, we deserve to go behind one to nothing because it was a bonehead play, but we've seen that happen so many soccer yeah, games. Yeah, just unfortunate. Then things got exciting. The first goal by the United States, States. You know, they controlled play. They seemed to be dominating. They just couldn't put it in the net, and then they got it in the net. Yeah, I mean, Jermaine Jones, just a just an outstanding individual effort, and for my money, he's been their best player in the entire tournament. You know, he came in, and a lot of people were saying he was going to be detrimental because he gets up cards and penalties. He's been outstanding. He's worked his socks off, and he, he did it offensively yesterday. He was great. And he did get a card yesterday, but that didn't even seem to be deserved when you saw the no, replay on no. there. No, I thought it was a clean tackle. The second goal, too, what a great combination play set that one up. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it comes out to Zussi from, from Bradley's deflected shot. And, you know, a lot of people there are just going to try and shoot the ball and, you know, nine times out of ten hammer it over. But he's, he has the, uh, the wherewithal to put it across, sees Dempsey, and, and just finds him on the, on the belly there for a, a, a tap in. As we go to the fourth goal, the decider, a lot of people very critical of Michael Bradley. With yeah. about 45 seconds to go, he has the ball at midfield, and he just... He got run right off the ball, and that led up to the uh, uh, Cristiano feed that resulted in the tie. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, he had a good first half, but the one thing you can't do in that situation with 30 seconds left is give the ball up. No. That ball should have been about 30 rows up. He should Thank have you. just gotten rid of the ball. Don't give it up there. He coughs it up. Beasley gives Ronaldo time to get the ball in, and unfortunately, they get caught tracking back. Somebody slips in on the backside, and there's the tie. So U.S. and Germany Thursday morning at 9 a.m. If the U.S. wins, then they advance as the number one team from that group. If they draw, then they'd probably advance as the number two team. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, I mean, if you went into this tournament saying with one game to go, the U.S. is tied with Germany for first place, I think everyone would take that. Sure. You know, so yeah, it was a it was a heartbreaker at the end there, but they're in good position to go through. And the truth is, even if the U.S. had won yesterday, if they lost to Germany on Thursday, then the Germans would catapult over them and get the number one spot anyhow. Yeah, and I think the teams that they're facing coming out, whether they finish first or second, yeah, Belgium has won their first two games, but they haven't looked like world beaters. Uh -huh. And then you have maybe Algeria coming out of there. So I think the U.S., if they get through, they have a good chance. Keep our fingers crossed. Now, we'll uh, watch on Thursday. We'll get you back here hopefully Thursday. Absolutely.